welcome. We have had a scene change. We're going to be doing this in my dining room today. Hence, I don't know what that's about. Oh, hang on. Let me. Ha! I don't know if that's better, but it makes me look brighter. Hello, friends. How are y'all? Does that look better or worse? I don't know what it looks like. I think it looks fine. It's very bright. Hang on one second. Uh, ooh, I moved the table and it moved my phone. Okay. Um, hello. I don't know if this looks okay. I think the light's okay. Do I need to turn on like some extra lights? Is that better? I think that's a little bit better. Okay. All right. So we are going to make Southern Keto Cookbooks blueberry muffins. They're the best like muffin ever, like out of all of them. So those Martha, I think they're called Martha White. I think, I think that's what it was. Um, those Martha packets that you could put like milk or water, I think in, um, oh my God, those right out of the oven with like some butter on top are phenomenal. Um, so this recipe tastes just like that, like just like that. You'll be surprised how good it is. Um, okay. So, this recipe is out of Tasha's cookbook and normally I wouldn't give y'all a recipe, but I asked her last year and I'm sure she's okay with it because she put it on her thing today. So I'm actually going to actually be able to give y'all the recipe and then hopefully you'll make these and think, oh shit, they are good and you'll want to buy the cookbook. So let me show you the cookbook really fast. Here it is. This is the best cookbook. Like out of all the keto cookbooks, this is the one you want. If you want somebody in your family to start keto, this is the cookbook you want to give them. Um, the ingredient lists are super short, which I am very appreciative of. Um, you probably have most of this stuff in your pantry, like already right now. And um, they taste good. Like they're actually really good recipes. Uh, so this is my favorite. This is where I get um, the gumbo recipe. This is um, the blueberry muffin recipe. What else have I, have I cooked out of here? There's been a couple things and then here's my would like to cook. So really, really love this cookbook. It is my favorite, 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 favorite. And I have a cookbook or two, like I, I have them. This is the one that's the best. Okay, so we are gonna make her blueberry muffins. I'm gonna put frozen blueberries, um, the dried cranberries and chocolate. I want a variety. You know, I want to see how these cranberries taste because like in muffins, since I have a lifetime supply of them, they will be in everything I eat for years to come. So get ready for that. That's what I'm keeping them in because Jesus. Two pounds of cranberries is a lot of cranberries. It is. It's a lot. Trust me. Um, okay, so let's get cooking. This recipe just calls for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients, including blueberries. So here are the ingredients. If you would like to write them down, you're more than welcome to. Um, 350 is the oven and they're going to bake for 25 to 30 minutes in a muffin tin. Um, it says they can be stored up to three days on the counter or a week in the fridge. They won't last you like three days at all. So, um, Let's see, I'm gonna catch up. Hello, friends. Yeah, I have enough dried cranberries for the foreseeable future, for sure. Oh, and a chaffle. Isn't there like a sweet chaffle? I bet there is. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix this up. I'm gonna tell you the ingredients, so if you're making it along with me, um, you can go ahead and start because y'all know I am chatty. So, it is one and a half cups of almond flour. Any almond flour works. I buy the one from Costco. Um, the one, all of them are great. Even the one from Walmart, Nature's Hollow, I think it is. Nature's something. It's in a tan and green bag. It's fine. All, almost all of them, almond flour is fine. Some of them are just a little bit more grainy than the others. Not a big deal. Um, so one and a half cups of almond flour, half a cup of sugar substitute, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, two eggs, half, a fourth a cup of sour cream, um, half a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a cup of fresh blueberries. It says fresh. I'm going to use frozen because that's what I got. 
and I don't know if it's gonna work but I hope so so um that's why I'm making three different kinds in case the blueberries are too wet from being frozen before I think they'll be fine though okay so if you have water drink right we used to do that all the time okay so the way this is mixed is you do your dries your wets and then you mix them together we're not going to do that we're just going to put it all in the bowl and mix it together because i just don't care. i just don't and it'll be fine actually i am going to get a whisk all right we have a whisk we're just gonna do it all in one really large bowl because less dishes. I came home and did dishes already. I'm not doing dishes again today, not today. Okay, so one and a half cups of almond flour. I'm gonna, I am gonna do the dries and then I'll do the wets. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. Hi friends, thank you for coming. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, did y'all see us start our Facebook group? So I really want to start the new year doing some like helpful things and very broad. Um, and I thought having like a Facebook group where I can come in and say, Hey, check in with everybody. Does anybody have any questions, comments, concerns? How can I help y'all? What's going on today? Um, I hope y'all are having a good day. Like I want to have a place I can come do that. And I thought Facebook would be kind of cool. Um, and honestly, it's really neat to see people that I see y'all's names on here all the time and I see your little circles and then I see y'all on Facebook and you're like a real person. Not saying you're real now, you're not real, but like I get to see you. Like, who was it? Um, Angel. So there's a local woman, her name's Angel and she's been to a couple meetups and she's just one, she is beautiful, um, and she's so kind. She made me a shirt that says keto on it. She's just, she's awesome. And she followed me on Facebook, and I haven't talked to her in a while. And I was just like, oh, Angel, I love you. Like, I was so happy to see her, her name and her face. And it was just a little bit different than Instagram. Instagram feels very social media-y. Um, and I know that Facebook is too, but at least in a group, we can be like a smaller group. I can have more one-on-one -on -one time with y'all. Like, I really wanted, I'm excited about doing that, so. And I love it because I can just pop in and be like, hey, friends, what are y'all doing? And like, chit chat, chit chat. Like, it's kind of like a chat room. I don't know. I really like it. So I didn't think I was going to like Facebook because I hate Facebook. Like, I have a Facebook and I haven't been on it in years because I don't like it. But for this purpose, I do. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. Um, so if you have any, if you want to, the Facebook is called Low Carb with Keto Sam I Am. Um, I don't, I'm sorry, I forgot I'm cooking. <laughs> I didn't want to, um, I don't want to be just a keto group. I feel like you learn things from, like, I, on my page here, I follow, well, like, mental health wellness pages, finance pages, um, just people I know pages, like, dog pages, meme pages. Like, I follow so much because I, I enjoy all those things, and I feel like we all probably have a little bit more to add and not everybody has to be keto like i'm totally pro whatever makes you healthy and feel better is totally cool with me um but we can all like chat about it like maybe i like a lot of vegetables and like jan doesn't really like a lot of vegetables and we can chat about it and you can be like huh sam likes vegetables but i'm kind of like jan because jan says it makes her feel like this and it makes me feel like that too and then you and jan have connected you know what i mean does that make sense you get it um but yeah i'm really excited about it i think it'll be a lot of fun uh, so if you want to go be part of it, cool. Um, I did make it private. I just, I don't want drama. I don't want um, any rudeness or anything like that. I, I will be quick to kick. Um, come in there and know that I'm there and I'm going to be happy and helpful and kind. And that's how I want everybody else to be. So, um, okay, we're making muffins. I forgot. My bad. Okay, so half a cup of sugar sub. The sugar sub that I'm going to use is pure. It's the only one I use. You'll see me use it a hundred times. Um, pure, so I do want to add something about pure. If you're baking with it, it calls for, 
it's the ratio is one sugar to half a pure. So if it's a cup of sugar, it's a half a cup of, of pure. Over time, half a cup won't be enough, and you have to keep like going up a little bit because it's kind of like stevia. Um, it's strong at first, but you'll get over that a little bit. So um, yeah, I like I like I, I'm liking Facebook. I think it's going to be a good little added thing. Um, so I think it'll be nice. Okay, so it's half a cup of pure. I think Facebook's gonna be fun. If it's not, I'll just delete it. I mean, whatever. Uh, I just want to try something new, and I think I think it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so I am gonna use half a cup of sugar. I mean, a sugar substitute. If you're new pure, use half. Like, use a fourth a cup of pure. You don't want to use too much. Um, I bought it. Has cash back on pure. Thank you for letting me know that. I definitely need to get on top of that because I only have two bags left, and I stock up. Um, two teaspoons of baking powder. This is a half a teaspoon, so I need four of them. I can math. Okay, question. <laughs> Do y'all, does anybody else watch Twitch? Does anybody watch Twitch? Like, as TV watch Twitch? Like, I watch t Twitch as TV for certain games. Like, and I have people I follow on there. Does anybody else see that? I think that Bang Keto does, but I don't think she's in here. Um... Okay, somebody said it's private, um, so people that you post, like when you post in there, they won't see what you said, which is kind of cool. I understand that a lot of people um, don't necessarily get the support that I do or that others do, and it's nice to have somewhere that you can go, even if you wanted to do it on Instagram and just have a page that's just keto, just you, not your family, not your coworkers, not your kiddos. Um, that can be nice. That can be, it's like your own your own little slice of the internet. Do you know what I mean? And that can be nice too. So Twitch is where people stream things for others to watch just like this, but they do it like eight hours a day. And it's mostly like video games and things like that. Okay. So this is the dry ingredients. I am going to mix them up a little bit um, just cause I'm going to put the wet ingredients in the middle and then mix those because one bowl. I only want to do one bowl. What's the name again? Hi, Stella. Hi, friend. We are making Southern Keto Cookbooks blueberry muffins today. And I'm making blueberry, cranberry, and chocolate because I have no... Oh, the name of the group is Low Carb with Keto Sam I Am. Um, um, on Twitch, I really, really like Barb right now. He's one of my favorites. I watch a lot of Super Mario. Um, I love, I love Super Mario. I love my Switch. I have, um, the Nintendo Switch. So, I've always loved video games. They've always been something I've wanted to play. I've always, I play World of Warcraft. This calls for a fourth assault. I'm just gonna do this a couple times. I played World of Warcraft for five years <laughs> um I was good at it and I liked it a lot uh but then you have to get a job lame um so I don't play WoW anymore and if I get a job I meant I didn't do anything but play WoW for like while I was in college and then realized I didn't have the time to do that anymore um yeah this is like the best cookbook so I love muffins. Are muffins delicious? I'm really excited about this. Oh, hang on one second. Okay, the muffins are gonna cook after we get off of here, but I do wanna start the oven, so they will be cooking. Okay, so next is two eggs and half, um, a fourth a cup of sour cream. So, got our two eggs. We're gonna put this right in the middle because I'm trying to, no! <laughs> so I was trying to do less dishes and then I put the, the egg in a clean bowl. So I did that to myself. I didn't win. I should have used two bowls. Okay, so I love my Switch. Um, I play all sorts of games on it. I just, I love things like that. I'm very a homebody. I like to read, play video games. I cook. I'm on Instagram. What else do I do? I have a cat. I'm a very exciting person. 
Um, I go hang out with friends and I like to grocery shop a lot. If you like to grocery shop, I love to grocery shop. Um, I get like projects in my head. Like, so I did the almond flour, uh, diet Dr. Rolls and then I did the coconut flour ones. They're good. They deflated, but they're good. Not bad. Um, fourth, a cup of sour cream, vanilla, and then blueberries. So word to the wise i don't is that the saying i just don't think that's the saying and i keep saying it so i'm just gonna make it a thing okay so i don't like to mix the blueberries in i don't know why but it seems to make i don't know i'm not gonna mix the blueberries in i put a couple on top and that's enough blueberry for me like three blueberries on each muffin totally enough blueberry for me i don't use a half a couple blueberries um so, just FYI. However you want to do it's fine. I just don't do it that way. Um, half a teaspoon of vanilla. We are going to mix the wet ingredients in the middle of the dry ingredients and then mix them all together. Because that sounds doable. It's not working all that well. Um, that's cool. Y'all shake when I do that. Mixing it all together. Word to the wise. It is word to the wise, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, so we have God, this this these muffins already smell so good. They smell exactly like I know what they're gonna taste like. Man, it's so funny because somebody said they they told me they tasted like the Martha's Martha White's muffins. I was like, no way. There's no way. They do. They're amazing. Okay, so for my muffins, I'm going to use can I show y'all something cool? If y'all have somebody that loves cookbooks, any kind of cookbooks, it doesn't matter if it's keto or not, obviously. This is the coolest thing I've ever received as a gift. Do you see this? Awesome, awesome friend, I love her very much, sent me this and it collapses on itself so I can fold it up and put it away when I'm done with it. Do y'all see that? See that? I'll see it again. Pretty neat. This is like the coolest gift I've ever received from somebody. And then it opens up and then those hold the pages. Is this not neat? This is so cool. I think this is on Amazon. It's under $40. This is a, this is a, such an awesome gift. Even for like, um, like Christmas parties or something. I would be thrilled to receive this as like one of those white elephant gifts or whatever. Love that thing. Love it. I use it all the time. So I don't know how many muffins this is this supposed to make? Yes, I have so many flags in all of my cookbooks. I'm always like feeling real. It's so funny because I go into like recipes, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do everything. And then I'm like, I'm gonna make a thing. Okay, so this is supposed to make 12 muffins. So I'm going to use liners. So somebody said they use liners and then they spray them with um, oil because stuff still sticks. Stuff still sticks for me too, and I don't know why. These muffin, these liners are not working very well either. Okay. Hello. Hi. Um, thank you. I'm so glad to be back. I can't lie. I miss doing this. So now that I'm settled in my home and I'm feeling good and I'm happy, like this makes me happy. Okay. So I just realized why it's cutting off my head. So I was like, wow, I'm standing in the same spot. Phone's in the same spot. I'm wearing boots. So if I wasn't wearing boots, I'd be like right here, but I'm wearing boots. Rocket scientist is what I am. Okay. I have to walk away again. Okay. So another cool gift for anybody, I'm just going to tell y'all shit y'all need to buy. This thing is my favorite. This is the best thing ever. This is two tablespoons. I have a one tablespoon and two tablespoon. My favorite. Use parchment liners. I haven't ever seen parchment liners. Um, do I take off my necklace? No, I have taken off this necklace. As soon as I spray these, they're gonna fucking come everywhere. I just know it. Ha! They didn't. Winner. I win. Um, I do not take off my necklace. I've only taken it off once when I had surgery. It's never been taken off since then. Um, I love it. It's from Anthropology. It's just an S. They have every letter. Super love them. Um, 
part. Okay, so, we'll, okay, I need to look for new liners. I don't like these plastic, these paper liners. All right, so I'm going to do one measured off dough. So I really like having one of these scoopers because what's nice is you can, if you're like tracking, you can put in all the ingredients, take your scooper, I'm scooping it and I'm like leveling it off so it's flat. There you go. Um, and then I'll know how many muffins I made. So, okay, well I made, let's see how many, eight muffins I think it's gonna be like. It's definitely not gonna be 12. And I'm not gonna go back and unscoop all those. It's gonna be 10. So, one time Mia yelled at me because I didn't scrape the bowl and get the extra muffin. It was a whole thing. So I have to scrape the bowl and get the last Nia muffin. I know she's not watching, but I love you, Nia. Kimchi and collards if y'all don't follow her. She is awesome. She will make you want to buy things. So be prepared for that. So does Stacy. Like those those women should come with like, like a notice to your husband that you're gonna buy shit that you probably don't need. Just saying. Or hus not husband. Who cares? You should be able to buy whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Okay. So I got 10 in this really sad muffin out of that recipe. So what I would do is put all that stuff in, divide by 10. That's how much the macros are in each one of these. Um, okay. Spray them in the cup. I didn't think about doing that. <laughs> um, you know what? I don't think these have the the measurements on the side I have looked at this forever think trying to so I needed a tablespoon one this weekend and I looked forever seeing if one's had a tablespoon on it and it didn't problem solved there um I couldn't find it so I ended up measuring out like a tablespoon and putting it in there um okay I did I scraped it all look that's clean it's clean clean all right so we're gonna use these half-frozen berries. I'm just going to put three on top. I don't really need more berry than three. Somebody said they took the, they took these muffins or they suggested taking like a blueberry muffin, cutting it in half and then frying it in butter. Like, yeah, I want to do that. I do. I do want to do that. <laughs> um, okay. So we're just gonna make three of each one. Blueberry. I am licking my fingers. These are my muffins, so not a big deal. I'm not going to feed them to anybody. Um, let's see. Welcome, Dr. Fine. It's so nice to see you. Hi, Liz. Oh, my friends are here. Y'all are the best. Um, okay, so we did blueberry. We're going to do chocolate because, yeah, I really like chocolate. The chocolate ones are usually my favorite when I make these. So just, just load that up with chocolate on top. Man, one of my favorite things used to be those double chocolate with chocolate chips and chocolate chips in it. Muffins. I just love those. Those are my favorite. And then the other ones, we're going to do cranberry because we're on the mission to get rid of this many cranberries. This was $20 with cranberries. And when it showed up, you know what? I wouldn't even been mad if it was like half the bag for $20. I mean, I'm not mad. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with all these cranberries? <laughs> like, <laughs> and I know people are like, eat them with green beans or eat them with this and eat that. I'm like, I don't really like cranberries all that much. <laughs> like, I just need them for one thing. Um, thank you. I love that palette. Um, we'll just cut the Diet Dr. Roll in half and fry it in butter. That's such a good idea. I'm gonna fry everything in butter now. Um, I am making Southern Keto Cookbooks blueberry muffins. If you are late to the party and you needed, I am kind of pushing these in a little bit more so they're not just like on top getting crunchy or, um, if you missed it, I can tell you the recipe off the top of my head. Y'all ready? Okay. It is one and a half cups of almond flour, half a cup of your sugar substitute. If you're using pure, use half of that, which is a fourth. Um... Two teaspoons of baking powder. If y'all are writing this down, y'all are super trusting me. That's really kind of you. <laughs> um, two teaspoons of baking powder. A fourth a teaspoon of salt. Two eggs. A fourth a cup of sour cream. 
half a teaspoon of vanilla and blueberries. I think I did it. And if I didn't, let me know that I messed up your food. I'm pretty sure that's it though. Um, really easy recipe. Okay, so we have done, oh, this one didn't get topped with anything. What do we top this one with? with? Do y'all think like chocolate and cranberries? We don't think about that. Will that be good? That sounds gross. We're just gonna make it chocolate because that's my favorite anyways. Um, hold Oops. <laughs> Hi friends. Thank y'all for showing up. I'm sorry. My phone is attached to the um, table and it's probably giving so many motion sickness and I apologize. Um, do y'all think, Ooh, jams, cranberry jam. I like making jam. Jam's easy. Have y'all made jam? Like I've made jam a couple times and I just freeze it when I, cause I can't use all of it in one time. I love jam. I am not going to make this very sad muffin. This muffin just isn't going to make the cut. I'm sorry, muffin. Sorry. Okay. So we got 10 muffins. We did blueberry. We did chocolate. We did dried cranberries and then a bonus chocolate right here. So these go in the oven 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. I like them until they're brown on top. Um, super easy. They stay on your counter for three days or in your fridge for seven days. So they're not going to last seven days. I promise. All right. Okay. So I wanted to show y'all one more thing and then I will let y'all leave. I promise. Um, one and a half cup cups, almond flour, chocolate cranberry. So I, oh, I bought, ooh, where is that? I bought candied orange and I think I'm going to chop it up and chop up some cranberries and make some bark. Doesn't that sound delicious? Like orange cranberry chocolate bark. Oh, I think it's gonna be so good. So good. I know that Lily's is hard to like melt down and stuff. I'm gonna figure it out. If not, I'll just eat melted chocolate. I don't care what it looks like. I just wanna eat it. Um, white chocolate chips. Okay, the problem with the white chocolate chips are they don't melt. I mean, they do, but they disappear. Like it's, it's weird. They just, they're kind of a weird little thing. Um, so I wanted to show y'all the coconut flour rolls I made. You're like, oh, that roll looks beautiful, Sam. Good job. No, it's deflated. I don't understand. <laughs> they all did this. Like as soon as they came out, they said, and they look like this. They taste fine. Did y'all hear that? It like exploded. Oh, that one didn't do it. Um, they taste fine. Nothing's wrong with them. They're just very sad. What do they look like? Um, but these are the coconut diet doctor rolls. Um, less calories, less macros, lots of yes. They're not as dense. I really like them. I feel like you could like, I feel like you could like make a pita out of these. Well, I keep ripping them all, but maybe you could. Um, I did flavor them with the Kinder's seasoning again because it's delicious. It even smells like it. So, coconut diet doctor rolls are a win for me. And the recipe is the same recipe, but you use 76 grams of coconut flour and six egg whites. Like, buy egg whites in the carton for this. Do not waste six eggs on it. I did because I'm an idiot, but that's it. Mm-hmm. It is deflate. It's so, here, let's see if I can hear this one. <laughs> did y'all hear that one? Oh, that one was pretty good. That one was pretty good. No, that one didn't do it. Lame. Anyways, um, a bit, I approve of these, the coconut diet doctor rolls, very much so. Uh, yeah, if you want to DM me recipes, please do. I am on the quest for the best of the best of the best of every recipe out there. Um, there's some pretty good ones. Did y'all hear that one? Y'all heard that one, didn't y'all? I know. I can see it. I know. It was pretty funny. <laughs> um, I don't know why they did that. Those other ones did not do that. <laughs> Um, 
I do think when the new year starts and I go back to tracking a little bit more, I am going to make the coconut ones. I don't like coconut flour at all. Look at this. You ready? Regular Sam. Boot Sam. Regular Sam. Um, I don't like coconut flour. I don't like to bake with it very much. I really don't like sweets with it. I just don't know what it is about the texture. I'm just not a fan. Um, now that I'm done. Uh... I just, I just don't like coconut flour, but these are fantastic for being coconut flour. Like I, I was very impressed and I will make these whenever I'm tracking and not the coconut flour because coconut flour, it adds up and not only does it add up, it is caloric. It is like eating almonds and they're very calorie dense, which means you can't have as many of them and you can't have other foods if you're tracking because they're taking up so much of your macros. Um, which is a whole other thing because if I'm tracking, if I'm tracking, I want the most out of every macro that I can eat. <laughs> like, no, you cannot have a pepperoni because I've already tracked it and it's mine. So, um, Walmart organic is good. It's finally grown up. Um, I have the, I don't even know what brand I have anymore because I haven't bought it in so long. I probably could use a fresh bag too. Like, these are fine. They deflated, I'm sure, from operator air, but they taste fine. They don't taste like coconut. They don't have a coconut texture or anything to them. Like, they're more psyllium husk anyways. Um, so yours deflated too. Okay, so maybe it wasn't an operator error. What do y'all think would change that? I guess we'll have to find out. I guess I'm gonna have to work on that. Um, Yeah, I do the almond flour and the psyllium husk one, and I like it. This is just the, um, this is coconut flour instead, like it's just a substitute, because some people can't actually have almonds either. So, so allulose, I have three things I will use allulose for. I use pure for everything else. So the three things are ice cream, because it does not harden like erythritol and stevia do, like, does. So it, it stays really smooth. Um, the second thing is caramel sauce. Fat Kitchen Blog has the best recipe and it, allulose is the only like chemical, cause it's chemical. Um, it's the only chemical sugar substitute that reacts like sugar does like in caramel. And then the third thing is Chef Resha. Resha. Nobody told me how to say her name. I'm gonna have to DM her. Um, her brown butter cookies. I use allulose instead of xylitol. Um, and I think it really, I think it helps for what she's going for with her recipe. So, um, need to know more about the seasoning you put in your rolls. Sure. I'd love to show you. Um, so this is the Kinder seasoning and I will forewarn you. It does have unpure ingredients in it, but I can't make seasoning. So we're going to deal with some impure ingredients. Um, and the, the bad ingredients is dextrose. So and maltodextrin, but it has zero carbs. So, so this is Kinder seasoning. I'm almost sure I found this at Walmart. Like I'm almost hundred percent positive. Um, I also have their black, this is called Cali's blackened. This is what I used in my chili this week instead of chili powder. This is delicious. Like this is what I will use in chili from now on. I will not use chili powder. This was so good in there. Um, and then this is the buttery steakhouse. This is what I put in the bread in the rolls. They taste very buttery. Um, they're salty like bread is because the diet doctor rolls don't have any flavor to me. Um, so I wanted to add something that gave them flavor and you could use rosemary and like any fresh ingredients. This is what I had on hand. I love this stuff like this on pork rinds would be delicious. Be so good. Um, there's sour cream. So a fourth a cup of sour cream and a fourth a cup of pure um, or sugar substitute. It's half a cup of sugar substitute. A fourth a cup of pure if you're using pure. Um, are you making these right now? You're, I love you. You're so funny. Uh, I hope they turn out good. <laughs> Do I need to go over the things again? Like, please tell me. Um, our Walmarts are gross too, but I'm buying litter and cat shit at Walmart. Like, I'm not going to PetSmart and paying PetSmart prices for litter. D's gonna shit in it. 
I'm not paying any more than I have to. Um, I have so, so many spices. The ice cream I make doesn't have yolks actually either, um, which is kind of cool. Let me show y'all. Are y'all ready for this? Okay, I forgot I'm alive and y'all are going to be able to see that. All right, let's uh, flip this around. All right, here are my spices. So one, shout out to my Irish friend. She sent me this um, like step thing. I love it. Um, so here are all my spices. These are cookies I need to take photos of, which not Paul can have. I have a lot of spices. So I have, I mean, from every brand in every company, there's Trader Joe's. This is what I used in um, my cookies the other day, brown butter vanilla. I mean, butter vanilla instead of a butter extract. This stuff is so good. Don't use that one-on-one -on -one flavor shit. Use a real brand, like a professional professional kitchen so um this one's really really good so here's what i have out here's what i have up here and there's more but it's it, i'm going through it as i clean out our kitchen because me and paul combined houses and when you combine houses you have a lot of shit <laughs> like so much stuff i found four jars of oregano why do i keep buying it i don't know Two of them expired in 2016. $20 goes to whoever can guess who bought those in 2016. Right. Right. Um, okay. Got it. Uh, do they have Kinders? They have like the big bottle. I don't know if I would have bought like the huge bottle first. I would now. Um, but because I, I was worried and I was like, mm, what is this going to taste like? And I knew it had like unsavory ingredients in it. So... They have um that uh, I'm gonna go look at Sprouts this weekend. That's a good to know. Somebody said they have it at Sprouts. That's super super awesome. Um, thank you for letting me know that. I am going to go check that out because I do care about ingredients most of the time. So, um, I have so many spices, and the problem is, I go back to the same five. Like I've had a couple of companies send them to me, or man, if I just go down the spice aisle, I'm, I'm fucking leaving with something. I don't know what that is. Like, I didn't need to buy more stuff. But I'm always like, well, these just don't really go bad that fast, which is just an excuse. Um, brown sugar substitute. I use um, Swerve for brown sugar. You can make your own brown sugar. I'm not going to do all that. Swerve is fine. I usually mix, like, the only recipes that, like, call for brown sugar most of the time have a sugar substitute with them. You don't use only brown sugar. So it kind of cuts the cooling effect that I get with Swerve. Um, so I use half Swerve and half Pure most of the time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so that's what that's what I use. Um, I do I do use three different types of, sh of sugar substitute. And don't get me wrong, I only use Pure for everything for years. And then my best friend Sarah was like, you have to use allulose for ice cream. And then I used allulose for ice cream and I was like, oh shit, she was right. This is fabulous. Um, because it didn't freeze as hard. Super fan. Um, I do not like Swerve either, Kiho. I definitely prefer their brown sugar, but nothing else of theirs. I had their confectioner sugar and I did not like it and started making my own. Um, yes. Do I need this yarn? It's smells delicious. I'm taking it home. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm jealous of Texas sprouts. I'm from Chicago. I only have Whole Foods. I don't, since Amazon took over Whole Foods, I'm like, nah, I don't really like them. <laughs> Their prices are crazy now. Like they went, I'm just not a fan of Whole Foods. Um, Amazon's just going to take over the world. They just are. Um, so I like, I prefer sprouts, but I have a central market closer. So I do a lot more central market now, um, which is H-E-B. So I'm just paying for H-E-B stuff at a higher price. Thank you, Plano. That's real. If you live in DFW, <laughs> like, damn it. Um, three fifty for 25 minutes until they're brown on top. You got this, boo. Um, it's just not the same now. I'm just not a fan of Whole Foods as much. Um, Please don't see this. Yes, you can sponsor me Whole Foods. It's okay. 
Actually, I'd rather be sponsored by Sprouts. What up, Sprouts? Bring it on. I love Sprouts, actually. They have, like, good deals, usually, on, like, um, lilies and stuff. If you can catch them on sale, totally worth it. Also on the come up, Kroger. Kroger has lilies, almond flour, swerve. Like, if you have a Kroger, you can buy all the keto things you could ever need and not have to go to another store, which is so fantastic, other than psyllium husk. Actually, they might have psyllium husk if you go to, like, the health aisle. I'm going to check. I think that would be an interesting video to go to Kroger and show you can buy everything at Kroger, which is actually called other things in other parts of the country. So, um, I do love Kroger. I love Kroger. My Kroger sucks, <laughs> but I still go there because I love Kroger. The employees are terrible. They're terrible. They're just terrible because they don't care. Like, I get it, but can you cheer up a little bit? I'm happy. I'm shopping. Um, um, Pure does make a confectioner stevia blend. It has fiber added to it. If that's not something you care about, cool. Um, I just buy like this and make my own, which is just fine to me too. Whatever works for you is totally cool with me. Um, yeah, Kroger's doing so good. They have like frozen collie mash now. Um, Lilies. They have sugar-free Russell Stovers if you're into that. Um, I don't think they carry... I don't think they carry a low carb bread yet. Like we used to have um, Walmart carried, or they still carry the Joseph's Lavash bread. They carry the, okay, Kroger has low carb mission tortillas. There is nothing you can't get at Kroger. Fred Meyer. I knew it was a dude's name. It's like, it's a dude's name. <laughs> um, yeah. Rebel ice cream is also at Kroger. So is Real Goods Pizza. Um, the cauliflower one is there. Everything is at Kroger. Too Good Yogurt is at Kroger. Everything's at Kroger. Kroger's just the best. The way that I love Kroger. Um, Y'all are, are so kind for putting up with me. Hello. Welcome. Um, I'm actually finished. I don't know what time it is. Can you guys see a clock? I'm in the wrong spot for that. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget about the Facebook group if you want to be a part of that. It's private. I'm in control, so you know it's going to be a happy, chipper place all the time. Um, maybe we'll do a giveaway or something over there. I have, I'm working on a personal inventory worksheet that I, I'm going to fill out. Um, and I think I'm going to go put it on Facebook too, so you can download it or whatever. I don't know how that's going to work yet. Um, so you can take your personal inventory if you'd like also. Um, if you talk to me this, or, uh, the things to take measurements are at the Dollar Tree. I'll make a post about that actually. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, I am going to go cause I'm getting close to time. I hope you'll have the best night. If you need anything, questions, comments, or concerns, you know where to find me. Um, low carb with keto Sam I am dot, uh, keto Sam I am. That's it. That's the page. Sorry. Um, we'll be over there. I'm going to figure out how to do it. I don't know how to do it on here yet as much. I know how to do it on my computer at work. You would think I'm 80. I don't know how anything works. It's not that I don't know how to do it. I don't know how that side works. I know how to do other things. Um, okay. It is Keto Sam I. Okay. So the group that I have is low carb with Keto Sam I am. I do have another like page. I don't know what that means. I don't know why I can have three things. Like I have my personal page, I have Keto Sam I Am page, and then I have Low Carb with Keto Sam I Am, which is a group. That's the difference. I didn't know. Um, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. I hope you'll have a great night and I will see y'all later.